Well, good morning. I thought today we'd uh, do our reflection in the garden as it's such a beautiful morning. I hope you're well and enjoying the sunshine if you can. I've been thinking about time. It seems to me that during this lockdown, time itself seems to have changed. Janet and I were convinced yesterday was Friday. We got up certain we were going to do the things we do on Friday, only to find it was Thursday. And the days seem to be longer. I know it's summertime and they're getting longer naturally, but also we have space and time that we didn't have before. When we were rushing from one thing to the other, having to do things by a certain time, now at least we can gently go through the day, think about what we're going to do, and read when we want to, how nice that is. But also, Time in a way seems to have concertinaed. I've been absolutely amazed during this Easter period how the stories from the Bible 2,000 years ago plus reflect where we are today, what's happening today. Today's reading from John's Gospel is all about the feeding of the 5,000. How Jesus, when he was preaching to a huge crowd, was told by the disciples that they were worried how they were going to feed them. And that made me think about the people today who we're worried about. People who can't get to the shops. People who can't afford to buy things because they have no money. People having to explain to their children that they can't have anything to eat because there's nothing in the store cupboard. And the work of all the volunteers who are shopping for people, who are bringing food, our own food bank, which I know is very busy. And so, all of those years ago, Jesus said to his disciples, don't worry, just take these small number of fishes and bread and start giving it out. And that's what they did. And all of the 5,000 were fed. Now, today we don't have Jesus here to do that, but I believe we have his spirit with us to make sure that we can help everybody who needs help. And again, I don't know if you saw the big night in last night, but it was amazing to see what people were doing, how they were working, in a time when people really need all of that effort, all of that love. So, time is that strange at the moment. Time isn't like we're used to. We don't have all these terrible things that we have to rush to. We can do what we want. But we also have to remember what God wants. Which is that where we can, we help all of the people that need it. Through action, yes. But also through prayer. Thinking about how we can help all of the people who need it, and all of those who are giving that help. So, let's end with a prayer. Lord, there is a real wisdom in knowing that it is always the right time in the heart that loves God. Always a time for optimism and hope. A knowledge that these dark and strange days will go, just as Good Friday has passed to Easter and beyond. Thank you, Lord, for the hope that you bring, the renewal that you bring, both to this world and to our hearts and lives. Amen. Stay safe.